Well, Governor Reynolds laid out her vision for the new legislative session. Education reform and tax cuts were among her top priorities. As state capital reporter Connor Hendricks now reports, new teachers could get a substantial raise. If Governor Reynolds gets her way, this session could be another blockbuster year for education reform. At Tuesday's Condition of the State Address, Governor Reynolds says she wants to increase teacher pay and offer merit-based rewards. Tonight, I'm asking the legislature to invest $96 million in new money to increase starting pay by 50% to $50,000 and set a minimum salary of 62,000 for teachers with at least 12 years of experience. Governor Reynolds says that move would put Iowa in the top five states in the nation for starting teacher pay. Reynolds also wants to reform special education by taking on area education agencies or AEAs. Iowa students with disabilities are performing below the national average. In the last five years, they've ranked 30th or worse on nine of 12 national assessments. Yet Iowa spends over $5,300 more per pupil on special education than the national average. Under Reynolds' proposal, AEAs would only focus on students with disabilities. Oversight would move to the Iowa Department of Education, and Reynolds' proposal would give school districts control of their special education funds. 35% of Iowa third graders aren't reading proficiently. Reynolds says she plans to ramp up literacy training for teachers. But something is clearly not working. We're the only state in the country that doesn't require competency in early literacy instruction for teacher licensure. The only state. Shifting to taxes, Reynolds wants to cut the state income tax again. Her proposal would reduce income tax to 3.65% this year and will go down again to 3.5% next year. The average family of four with an income of about 78,000 will see a tax savings of over 25%. A single mother of two making 47,000 would see an even greater savings of more than 42 percent. Senate Minority Leader Pam Yoakum says she likes a lot of what she heard from Reynolds tonight, but needs to see more of the details. You know, actually, she, she made a lot of great proposals tonight, and certainly the Democrats are willing to work with her, but we really need to see the bills. Yoakum says in this session, Democrats are working at increasing opportunity, defending freedom, and holding those in power accountable to the working and middle class. At the State House, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting.